Hello, everyone. This is Father and Son Worlds Apart. I'm Marcus. I'm Danny. And we're going to do a comparison with the iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max, the uh, Canon M50, and the Sony 6400. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the uh, Sony uh, 6400, and the Canon M50. And you can get a chance to see how they look pretty much side-by-side. -side. This is mainly to show the camera on the new iPhone 13. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and uh, I think the the camera quality is good right now you're looking at me on the uh sony 6400 camera now this is the picture you're getting so i'm finna switch over to the canon uh m50 so that's that's me and all my beautiful glory glory my beautiful glory <laughs> on the Canon M50. So now it's you're looking the same at me camera. on the Canon. On, well. on the Canon M50. Dan is also on the Canon M50. So this is upgrade. the picture quality you get. And here go the iPhone. This is the iPhone 13 Max. That's insane. So now you're now you're looking at me on the iPhone 13 Max. And I bet you and you I, didn't even mess with the settings, did you? I didn't. Did you I mess didn't have with to the, mess with, with the, the settings, settings or nothing. And <laughs> because only there's, thing a, unique, there's a video. Yeah, what you say? I said that I saw a video on TikTok where you can change the. You, there's some kind of way to change the video settings to get, I mean, absolute insane quality out of your iPhone camera. Like people are using them that iPhone to to do streams and stuff with. Yeah, you can do screen. Only thing you need is to get a program called uh, FilmX. And if you want a clean screen, a clean feed like this, where it's nothing on the screen, because if you try to do it, if you try to do this uh, to live stream just with the iPhone camera, you're going to have all the iPhone information on your screen. So people are going to see your... Yeah, they're going to see your your menu, all of that stuff. They're going to see everything that you see on your iPhone. They're going to see it on your stream. But it's a third-party program called FilmX, and you can use that program to get a co complete clean feed through your iPhone. So you, you get this right here where it's no crap all over the screen and stuff you don't have the uh the uh autofocus thing popping up autofocus uh square popping up and all the other stuff that you would have if you were just trying to live stream on uh just through the the camera through the uh through the uh uh the, the iphone uh camera application so you get this third party. The, the program cost me about $14 and it gives me a clean feed like this. It, it, it j acts just like a mirrorless camera, pretty much. You don't have how my mirrorless camera don't have all the crap. You can see it. If I look, if I turn around and I look at the phone, I can see all of my stuff on there. You know, my uh, uh, music app, all, all of that stuff. You can see it. So I can see it, but you can't see it when it when I feed it uh, through my um, Atom Mini, which is what you're looking at it through now, which the Mini go through my um, Rodecaster Pro. So uh, that's you get a clean feed. No crap mm -hmm. on your screen. And this is just a $14 program called FilmX. And 
trust me, it's, it's worth the fourteen dollars if you want to use your iPhone uh, thirteen as your streaming camera. Which is, you see, it give you a good quality. This is the iPhone thirteen. This is the uh, Canon M fifty, and this is the Sony. 6400 i mean you can't really compete with that sony 6400 i mean mm-hmm. that that count it nothing can mm-hmm. but i have to say this iphone the quality on that camera on a phone is darn good that's a pretty good picture mm-hmm. i mean you can't complain very, about very the picture clear. quality very clear mm-hmm. long as you get that third-party program which is called film x and as long as you get that you can uh get a f- clean feed like this without all of the crap on the uh screen and you can download that at the app store to your phone and once you open a program it takes over your camera and you get this it's that simple you don't have to set nothing up you just have to do a couple tweaks and changes in there but there's other videos i did it to tell you how to do that to uh mm-hmm. get rid of all the stuff on your screen and that's the only way now, how much was it. the app 14 the app cost you? 14 dollars okay. 14 dollars on the app store not bad at all but so, I was I was using it in the beginning though as well too. Well, I had I had my iPhone 12 Pro when we were streaming and at first I was doing it mm-hmm. on my iPhone 12 and I didn't use anything. But I would use the link that you send me and then I would log into the link with my phone. Mm-hmm. But I never mm-hmm. had any kind of special programs or nothing. Yeah. Well, I don't know what if the, is it changed or if you're trying to. Sh- screen stream uh if you're the main camera i don't know yeah. but i know on the iphone if you just use your nor if you just use the normal camera when you connect it to your uh um uh, your uh car it going to show all when you connect it to your computer it's going to show everything on the screen so when you connect it to your capture card to the computer, it shows everything on the screen. So, uh, catch, yeah, it's crisp. Bro. So it's crazy that a, that a phone it can do that. Yeah. Like we 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 spent so much money on on extra cameras and, and equipment and all that stuff, and that phone is coming so close to it. I mean, it's got. Yeah, I think it looks better come- than the Canon. Yeah, that phone come real close to it, and you don't need a Rodecaster Pro. You don't need a, a Atom uh, Mini, a Atom Mini Pro. You don't need none of that. The the Rodecaster Pro costs what eight hundred dollars by itself. The ATM Mini that costs another two hundred dollars. So mm-hmm. you can get the the the, and that's not including the camera. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on uh, getting started out, your your uh, your iPhone 13 will work perfectly as a streaming, a live streaming or streaming uh, camera to start your YouTube channel if that's what you want to do. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay, people, tell me what you think about the quality of the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max and put it in the comment below. Let us know what you think. And we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you later. Peace.